So guys, we're here in Kiev at the Olympic Stadium. It looks incredible. We're officially the closest influencers to get to the pitch. That's right. That's, That's official. And we're the closest people, except for one guy who's trying to battle for the... He's, he, can we call him Limelight? He always... I mean... He's done it. He knows it. <laughs> the access that UEFA have got for us is incredible. We're going to be staying around all day and most importantly, we're going to be here for the final. That's right, we're giving you a sneak peek of what happens behind the scenes at the UEFA Champions League final. So much prep, so much work goes into this massive fixture and for me, it's, it's the fixture of the calendar year, you know, you wait for this one to come about and this, this fixture, Real Madrid v Liverpool, it's going to, there's going to be goals and it's going to pop up. Yes, that's right. They're just doing the last finishing touches to the pitch, which is like a carpet. As you can see, this guy takes his job seriously. I he's, mean, he's not rolling out there for fly mode. You know what else? We're going to be playing on this very pitch tomorrow. So he's not just cutting that for Mo Salah and Cristiano, he's cutting that for F2. That's right. Cut that for F2, mate, all day long. Look at that cut. Yeah, nice to meet you too. How's the shot? Still strong? That's all I have, mate. <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> like, like, that's I've seen saying. some of your videos, by the way. I have to, how many goals do you have to have up to? It varies, don't it? Between one and two. You can check it out. This is my friend and body. I'm gonna jump on this next and show levels. Watch this. So we had some fun there, now it's time to get serious. We're about to take the UEFA Champions League trophy to the stadium, courtesy of Nissan, that have supplied this unbelievable opportunity to us. I mean, who gets to deliver the trophy to the stadium? This is just once in a lifetime. Can't believe it, it's getting handed over by John Arnarisa now. You can see the trophy's coming now in some split Nissan. Oh look, I'm getting dragged, I'm Oh, look at that. The security around this trophy is absolutely mad. Armed police, left, right, and centre. Officials, more officials. It's no joke. John Arnarisa there in the back of that car. How cool is that? This one, yeah? That's like something from iRobot, bro. So this is it, we're off on the Escort. We've got Theo in the back here with us. In the middle. This is literally top, top, secret, classified. Not top secret. This is literally the most secure convoy in the whole of Ukraine right now. There's a helicopter up there. You've got snipers. <laughs> All on three, the top we terraces. Have three tanks. Three tanks. And that's not even going into the armed forces or the police. Right. Yes guys, what's happening here with Theo Baker? See you on the other yeah, side. We'll see you, bye. Wish us luck. So we're just about to head to hospitality and um, seen a piano here, haven't I? Now, Lionel Messi might not be in this final, but he's still here in spirit. And he has, in fact, called me out. He played the Champions League music for an Adidas campaign. And uh, he sent us a little DM. I can't show it to you because it doesn't actually exist. But I'm going to take the call out, the imaginary call out anyway, and see if I can play the Champions League song just like Lionel Messi did.
just got to the stadium. We're gonna go and find our seats now and watch the warm ups. Let's do this. The seats look pretty good from where I was just down here, bro. Oh, it's 
seen Luka Modric just pluck a ball that weren't meant for him. Sometimes you've got to, you've got to switch the camera on to talk about a touch, and that was it. That was a ridiculous Luka touch. Modric, he killed the boy, put it to sleep.